Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to go ahead and find out how much copper is inside a vacuum cleaner. Um, this vacuum cleaner was actually donated by a friend of mine, so I just want to say thank you very much for the channel donation. Uh, it's still got the cord attached. Um, the cord usually has about 30% copper to plastic ratio. And then uh, it is bagless and containerless apparently. Uh, so that's a little bit of plastic we don't have to worry about recycling because it's not there. Um, the motor itself, uh, if it has copper on it, this should be a, a fair amount versus, you know, if it has an aluminum winding. So if it has an aluminum winding, we're just going to throw it right into my irony aluminum pile. So um, if you're new to the channel and this is the kind of subject matter that interests you, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you hit the bell notification, you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video to YouTube. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, cart and the camera set up and uh, we'll bring it back with the teardown. But first, what? Oh. Well, that was pretty easy. Yeah, there's really not much inside these, so. We're just going to take that power cord off, that motor. There might be a switch inside here somewhere, a little silver contact, so. All right, so we'll put it on the cart and we'll start stripping it down. That's an aluminum winding right there. You can see the silver. So this is junk. I'm just going to throw it right in irony aluminum as is. Here's where I get off of that one wire, the black wire. Now we're gonna do the white one. There we go. 
And that's it. So that's from the white wire. Before I forget, that's all the rubbish from the wire after it was stripped. Okay guys, that's all the copper we got from the vacuum cleaner. Like I said, if this actual motor had an, a copper winding on it, there would have been a lot more. So, it is disappointing. You can tell where I scratched it right there and it came up like a silver color, so you know that's aluminum wire. So, we'll throw that in the iron the aluminum bin. So, let's go ahead and get this weight up. Looks like we got 4.8 ounces. So, normally I wouldn't melt that down because it's such a small quantity and the cost of propane, you know, it's really not worth it. But I'm going to melt it anyways, and I'm going to make a very small bar out of that. So we'll add that to the stack tonight. Okay, guys, here's the crucible. Um, we got a tiny bit of copper still left in there from the last time, so uh, it shouldn't really add too much to the weight. So again, we had 4.8 ounces uh, copper here, so if there's any more than that, we know to deduct that from the total. So here we go. Um, usually I put a piece of cardboard underneath the crucible that's to prevent the crucible from sticking to the fire brick especially when you're trying to remove it so we'll just stick that in there I already set this up for the position I want it in gas is already on Okay guys, here's the bar. Nice and small, like I said. And there was a little piece that broke off because uh, I poured it a little too quick. So we'll buff this out and uh, we'll get it all weighed up. Okay guys, we got the bar all polished up. Um, we had 4.8 ounces uh, plus that little bit that was in the crucible. Uh, this little piece came off after I poured it. And then it came off of this little piece right here. So, anyways, let's see what we got. We got 5.3 ounces minus a half an ounce. That's pretty much what we had, 4.8. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching my video. I'm sorry it was so disappointing for the uh, amount of copper that was inside that vacuum. But, you know, that's just the way it is. The, like I said, the newer stuff, they're getting away, these manufacturers, they're uh, getting away with uh, making aluminum windings in their motors. It's just their way of uh, cutting down costs so if you're going to grab vacuum cleaners make sure they're older 
because uh, more cases than not, you know, they probably will have, you know, a copper winding on the motor. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to give about half an hour, and then we're going to go ahead and clean this mess up. Um, if you guys are ever wondering why I have these leather sleeves on the hose here near the burner, uh, the reason being is sometimes embers will uh, come up through the closed lid here, through the hole. So I just want to make sure that I don't cause any kind of a fire. Um, I do have a fire extinguisher close to my bench. And uh, I always do have a bucket of water here. Um, I assure you it's not just for quenching the bars. Um, it's just in case of an emergency. So anyways, before I forget, let's go ahead and uh, throw this bar inside the stack. Um, I'm, I forgot exactly how much I have. I'm actually going to weigh up everything in my next video. But uh, let's call it about 105 pounds right now. And we'll just throw this uh, little five ounce bar inside there. So, and to think that uh, all this stuff was uh, picked up off the side of the road. Uh, scrapped down, processed, and uh, melted down into these fine looking bars that you see here. So, anyways, uh, thank you very much for tuning into my video. Um, if you guys like this kind of stuff and this kind of content, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you hit the bell notification, you know, you'll be alerted next time I post a video to YouTube. So, again, thank you for your support and uh, happy scrapping and happy casting.